Ken did almost shoot Ryan with a shotgun that one time when Ryan what? was scaring him. <laughs> oh, when we were yeah. Kids. What? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. So while Ken's coming in here, you know when you're you know when you're a kid and you like drive around and do nothing, kind of like you were talking about with your buddies, you're running around yeah. the street. That's what we used to do. So we used to have this story of the lady in white. She was an old lady, hated dirt bikers, whole thing. We'd created a, a fake story. And so me and Jake decide, hey, we're gonna go with a couple of our friends. We're gonna go to Walmart, get nightgowns, dress everybody up like the lady in white, and we're gonna go scare Ken. Great plan in theory. At so, 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. So I tell my mom I'm so, playing Xbox at I'm playing Xbox at Jake's. No worries. We're safe. Meanwhile, we're out on the town driving around, doing whatever. So we come over to Ken's house and sun we, was coming up. The sun was coming up. Yeah, it was like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. by the time we'd had this plan all pushed out. So we go knocking on the window to Ken. Ken wakes up, looks out the window. And well, uh, what he do? I had to open up all my shades. Yeah. So what? What did you do? What happened? You but what was his face? Was like, oh! I was like, oh. It was actually very similar to that. Well, yeah. Ken I, looked surprised and confused. Was like, what is going it, it's on? It's like four or five a.m. I'm sleeping. I, I hear like just little pitter patter at my window. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Hoping it'll just go. You know, it's a bird. Hoping it'll something. go but away. This was before and we it, like messed with each other. Yeah. And so it just, this was like new. I was like, oh, it's a bird or some animals just hitting the glass, and then it just keeps going. I was like, fuck, I, I got to go look at this. And I was like, what the fuck? And then you guys run away. And then, because you guys weren't weren't there very long initially, uh -uh. and then you you, I was like, oh, okay, whatever, I'll go back to bed. And then you come back, uh -huh. and then you, you did the same thing, and you go run away again, and you came back a third. Oh, time. it was the second time. I'm pretty oh, sure. I, th I thought you came came back twice. Anyway. Then I like get on the deck, scream at you guys. So then that's where the story gets interesting. So you <laughs> you went over there and you scared Ken. So on the second scare of Ken, Ken. It appeared to us to have been very scared because then we had the lady in white right up by the window and whatever. So Ken takes off running the house and we go, we got to get out of here. So we go sprinting off in the yard. Ken starts flicking lights on, <laughs> screaming the whole house, <laughs> runs out on the deck, screaming, gets out on the deck. And what was he screaming? Scream? Yeah, what did you scream? I, I, get I the this fuck was, yeah, it was my lawn. It was like the most aggressive, angry <laughs> grunt in the voice. Get the fuck. Fuck out of my yard! Flip the switch. <laughs> so then we're like, "Oh shit!" So we run, run. We're running to the through Wait, the driveway. The whole house, no, the whole house Ken's parents, his brother. <laughs> and we're running down the driveway, and like as I'm rounding the corner by the, you know, I, as I'm rounding the corner around the garage, Ken comes flying out the main door of the house. We're like, oh shit. We Ken, take what were you going to do? I don't, I don't know. I didn't know who it was. <laughs> Bro, Ken was seeing red. Ken, Ken was seeing red. So lucky he didn't get a hold of you. So then we jump in my car, peel out of there, laugh, think it's the funniest thing, go back to Jake's, sleep in, tell one, whatever. <laughs> Completely ruined Ken's night. Ken's night. night. <laughs> so the, and his whole family, for his, that matter. So then it got... Interesting because Ken obviously had woken up the whole house and was and, very mad. Yep, and was very mad. So Ken's dad, Bob, wakes up and is like, "What the hell is going on?" All the stuff. Ken presumably tells him the story or whatever, and then calls my dad because I'm out till five a.m. fucking with Ken. <laughs> and so during that time in the house, Ken had ran to his brother and said. Give me the shotgun. Give me the gun. <laughs> and thankfully, you imagine if Cody gun? would have been like, yeah, here, here you, you go. go. So <laughs> Cody goes, what do you need the gun for? And I assume like, well, there's somebody Ken gets when he's angry, he probably didn't give any answer. And Cody give told him, no, you can't have the gun. Thankfully, ran upstairs, did the whole thing. I'm sure Ken told his dad. Well, it's like there's somebody trying to break in the house. You don't know what's going on. But Ken. Did you see the lady in white? So that is where now the story gets interesting that it was the second time we were back and you knew it was us. I didn't know it was you, Ken though. I was prepared oh, to shoot you. He was prepared <laughs> to shoot any young woman in his yard. Just don't wake him up. That's the moral of the story. But so then I got in big I didn't, trouble. I didn't know it was you until I saw your car peeling down the road. Oh. The little TC. The little TC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rev bombing. Yeah, so then I got in 
tons of trouble. I still remember the conversation right outside of our shop when Bob came over and was like, listen, you can't be doing that. One, it's disruptive. It's two, you're out late. Three, you could have gotten shot. Grant was trying to get the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, like, can jail. you imagine if Ken just fucking got me right in his yard for Holy playing a little fuck. prank? You don't fuck around with some shit. That, that's no, you can. don't fuck around with some shit, dude. I would shoot somebody in my yard that's laughing and cackling as two young girls and two dudes are running through the yard laughing. I wouldn't go, these people need to be shot. Get the shotgun. <laughs> we got some high schooler kids. Clean cut. Cute girls. Nah, she wasn't She shot. wasn't cute wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> no excuses. If she was cute, I wouldn't have shot her. <laughs> so yeah that was a story about ken almost shot me and got me grounded for a month i actually don't <laughs> know if ken could have managed to figure out how to shoot you though yeah it's, it's mostly like the scare thing you hear the shotgun click and ken was gonna scare me with a fucking shotgun in his yard dude <laughs> you were scaring me with a fucking lady standing yeah, outside my window just trying to dude. send a good example, example. nobody fucks with me dude we probably wouldn't have messed with ken for the last like 10 years we've been, we all mess with each other, but every time we would go to mess with Ken, I'd be like, remember that one time you <laughs> shot Ryan? <laughs> Let's uh, not mess with him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ken's dude. got that look in his yeah. eye of fuck around on the find out. out. <laughs> Think about how much more interesting Ken's life has been thanks to just things like that we do. <laughs> That's yeah, true. He gets Whether he likes it or not. But it's been a pretty interesting time. It's been a wild ride. <laughs>